the staff and students of Isaac Bellissi Middle School in Brooklyn are waging a war against bullying. Maria Lombardi, the school's guidance counselor, says bullying goes deeper than just name calling. It's something that can happen in any environment. Bullying is more so um, a constant feel of a lack of power. She says they teach kids about bullying and its consequences by going over the code of conduct weekly. Miss Robinson and Mr. Clark, the school deans, strictly enforce these rules. Mr. Clark is also the leader of Bildersee's anti-bullying campaign, and says recently cyberbullying is on the rise. Most of the students, you know, they rather fight and do certain things online than do it in the building because they know I'm going to suspend them. For college student Antoinette Denham, the experience of a boy using her own scarf to strangle her is fresh in her mind almost 10 years later. She remembers older students harassing her and others using their close relationship with staff to threaten her academic career. Ignoring her bullies only made them more persistent, and teachers would rarely intervene. Bullies wouldn't actually do this stuff in front of teachers. So it would be very difficult for teachers to even get involved. They can really only handle like the aftermath. Antoinette says in comparison to other victims of bullying, she considers herself lucky to have had friends to help her. Honestly, I don't think I would have been able to get through, get through the whole thing had I not had these people around me. Bullying happens every day, whether it be physical, verbal, or cyber. Some students may try to solve the issue themselves. Or look to others for help. Even if the adult isn't as helpful as they can be, Getting, getting that child to somebody who can help them is the best way to deal with the situation. Most adults at Antoinette's school saw bullying as kids just being kids. But at Bildersee, teachers and administration are working to build trust with their students and create a safe haven. Yesterday I had two young ladies came in and they wanted to report that their brother is afraid um, of reporting a bullying incident. So I said to the young lady, you can give me the information. I would anonymously hand it in to the dean. The guidance counselors and deans work through these issues with victims, bullies, and their parents. Mr. Clark and Billersey's intervention specialists are also developing clubs and art projects that will encourage kids. The school is still working to create a bully-free zone, but in the meantime, Ms. Lombardi says they're teaching kids to stand up for themselves. Their thought is more like, oh, I want to be the helper. And then once you start showing kids, like, what does that look like? Then they go, oh, okay. So it's okay if I go and tell somebody, don't say that to my friend. You hurt their feelings. It's okay to be like, no, 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 no. We're not standing for this. This is Dominic Jack, BK1.